Funeral, my grandmother, and the hero of Mournhold are counting on me. So why am I pacing out here like a fathead? I don't know. Why are you? Switch why are you? <laughs> you just have to power magic rocks made by a living god, find some spirits, free them, oh, and leave the Force Martyr's folly without dying painfully. <laughs> It'll be fun. Are you talking to yourself? I'm right here, you know. Ah, uh, yes. I do that. I wasn't expecting anyone. Oh. Lord Sotha Seal, I'm doing what the tribunal asks. I have the three mother stones, and I what? know the energy fonts are. I'll free the spirits from the Force Martyr's folly, I swear. Hmm. I think you're going to be confused with somebody else. No? Oh, you're in disguise. I'm glad you're here. Saving Ordinator Nilera and Grandmother Priest Suvisa's spirit from Merun's Dagon? I can't do that alone. But I can give you tribute. Um payment for the help of an adventurer uh i, I guess i'll help you but i'm not i'm i'm still not sotha sill thank the three i have the mother stones i got from amalexia's priest though we do still need to attune them with the energy fonts inside but with your help we'll free nilera and Sovisa's spirits in no time now to enter the folly what wait what happened what happened to him why are they here is this a test? Are you checking if I know who I'll use the Mother Stones on? <laughs> they both died years ago. They protected the temple from Merun's Dagon when he decimated Mournhold. I was there, hiding under a table. That was a day I won't forget. I didn't hear anything about Merun's Dagon attacking Mournhold a few years ago. The decimation of Mournhold in 2920? The end of the first era? My lord, is there something terribly wrong with you? You... you were there. How could you forget? That was 600 years ago. Yeah. That's a long time. We're in second era now. 600? No. This is a test. Almalexia's priest gave me the Mother Stones only a few weeks ago. I know how long I've been standing outside the folly. Mayrun's Dagon's realm can't hold me captive. Not like the spirits I need to save. Uh... Okay, so the stones are going to free the spirits. You might have missed the explanation. You are busy. I got the mother stones from a priest of Amalexia. She said that the Lady of Mercy created them. Once we attune them to the energy of the sever, these stones will take it to the home. Why do the mother stones need to be attuned? They won't work properly unless they're attuned. Right now, the stones couldn't return me to Morrowind. A lot of power to save Ordinator Nalera and Grandmother Savisa. I mean, they're both dead and they've been trapped here for years. How do the Mother Stones get attuned then? I asked about that in Wretched Spire. There are these energy fonts that should be just the things we need. No one in Wretched Spire could really tell me where the fonts were, but given their name, I think they won't be too hard to find. What makes you say that? Well, have you looked into the folly? Lightning strikes happen all the time. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've always seen lightning strike the most in areas of high energy. If we follow the storms, we should find the fonts. I hope. Hmm. What more can you tell me about these, uh, the Ordinator and Priest? They were both incredible women, heroes in their own right, who stood in the face of a great threat. I... I really look up to them both. I mean, one is possibly the greatest Ordinator to ever serve the tribunal. And the other is my grandmother. Hmm. How did Nurse? How, how did Nura, uh, Nilera die? She was protecting the temple from Merun's Dagon's attack a few years ago. I remember hearing her call out the Shaman Petra. The most heroic thing I've ever heard. I cried when the scream stopped. Oh. And the Ordinator? They're the guards of the tribunal temples. Warriors protect the living gods and protect their houses throughout Morrowind. I wanted to be one. Like Ordinator Nelera was, but I'm not a fighter. I've seen my life's share of blood. How did Persis uh, Sylvasa die? We were visiting her at the temple on the day of the attack a few years ago. When Nelera died, Savisa rushed outside to take up her sword. She wasn't a warrior, but she managed to keep the horde from reaching the doors. I never got to say goodbye. 
Why did Mayrun's dag on trap them the folly? Maybe to gloat over them or use them as a warning to others. I'm not sure which. Either way, an entire garden filled with living statues of people I knew makes my skin crawl. So how are the false martyrs trapped? All I know is that most of the statues here are from the time when Dagon attacked Mournhold. They're just on display here. The Fallen. On display for all Daedra to see. Oh, I might lose my nerve again. Something bothers me that they died martyrs by his story, but the place is called False Martyr Martyrs. Not mount in this location, despite the fact it's open. The air changed, like the storm is about to get worse. We're close. Find an energy font. Tune Motherstone. So the seal, only two more stones to attune. Why? Wait, if we're rescuing only two people, why do we have to attune three? That's it. Only one energy font left to find. Okay. And it's right up there. All right. Now that that's done, um, my lord, can I have a word? Sure. I don't want to tell you what to do, but please be careful with those stones. They look erratic. You may be the magician, but for someone like me, holding onto erratic power seems unwise. Why do you keep calling me Sothasil? Oh, right. You're in disguise. <laughs> Sorry. Your disguise isn't bad. In fact, it's flawless. <laughs> Nothing like yourself, but no one else knew I was here. So when you appeared, I could tell who you were. I hope that's all right. Hmm. You're not going to stop, are you? Why would I do that? not respect you with your titles and name i was raised by a priest of the temple even if i wanted to i couldn't anger grandmother savisa like that what well, we tune the stones what's next next we need to think of anything we need to find the statues there should be an altar in here that's used to locate statues in the folly <laughs> where's the altar I, uh, I kind of had to figure that out on my own since an acolyte of Lord Vivek was called away before he could tell me. But I ran into someone familiar with this area in Wretched Spire. The altar is farther in the folly, in a Daedric building. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> He's just going to keep on calling us Lord Vivek. <laughs> Just avoid all the fights. And secondly, how is he going to know where her, where the statues are? The altar. Place the mother stones there, and we'll be able to locate the statues somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested about this somehow. I should probably do that. Spare you the embarrassment. Um, Lord Dagon, help us find Nilera and Solisa so that we can do evil. 
<laughs> the stone. So we could do evil. Wonderful. I don't know what went wrong. I started praying to Mayrune Stagon and then the tribunal, you, my family. It brought shame to everyone. We only have two stones now. We need three. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. We put the stones on the altar and then I prayed and a stone just exploded. Is Amalexia's power not compatible with the altar? Did Dagon figure out I'm not an evil cultist? Am I terrible at praying? Do you know where the statues are? Oh, yes. Here, let me mark the location for you. I may have obliterated one of the stones, but at least we have the information we need. So what do we do with the mother's sto stones now that one's broken? Originally, there were three stones. One to free Ordinator Nalera, one to free Grandmother Sovisa, and the last one was supposed to take me back to Mournhold. Without that third stone, someone has to stay here. Sovisa, Nalera, or me. Tell me more about the Ordinator. Ordinator Nalera was the glaive of the Tribunal, and after Merun Stagon's attack, I don't know anyone who'd say she wasn't the greatest ordinator ever. Freeing her spirit from this place would bring peace to many. Tell me about the priest. Sylvisa was my grandmother. She was kind and smart, the sort of person who always pushed you toward compassion. She was a priest at the temple, not a warrior. But she saved so many from Mayrun's Dagon's horde when they attacked Mournhold. So I think I like the priestess, at least. Ordinator or him is probably who I'd leave behind. We'll see. Would you stay behind to free them both? I can't believe it. Is that what you... what the tribunal wants from me? Maybe it's better than letting two spirits stay in agony, but... So with the seal... I don't know if I can do that. Not even for Ordinator Nalera and Grandma Savisa. You know what? That's actually that's actually pretty good. I I do find it kind of bad sometimes when it's like you have to make a choice. And by the way, it's gonna be you that stays. Like we have to cho choose their fate. Like no, he should absolutely just choose to be like. I don't think I can handle that because it sounds more realistic to be honest. <clears throat> now that we know where the strategies are, what's the next step? All right. Uh I don't think I should touch them anymore. I'll pick them up. All right. I have some control over my emotions. Let's get moving. <laughs> the way I'm kind of missing, why can't he, uh... I mean, if he sends them back, can't he just go over to uh, to the Fargrave and find a portal back to Mournhold? Oh, Manticore. Yeah, I'd recognize their faces anywhere. So the seal. Well, here we are. Can't put it off any longer. Time to make the difficult decision. Gods, I can't really damn myself to save them, can I? But then, how can I leave one of them here? So we're going to free one spirit here? Or, or we could free both, but then I'd be trapped. Oh, if I was better at magic, or even understood what Alma Alexia's mother's stones did, then... But no, there is no way to free both spirits and ensure my escape. I'm a failure. What if we use both stones and just like leave out the front door? They'd leave their tortured undeath at the hands of the Prince of Chaos. But I'd be stuck here, alone. Still, I guess the spirits would be free and I'd have done my duty to them and the tribunal. Is that what you want me to do? What if we use uh, one of the stones to free one of the spirits? It 
Is she one of the stones to free both the spirits? I think he can still come back, right? But yeah, let's uh, use a. Let's see what the top one goes. Free just one of them. How could I even begin to make the decision between the two? I'd be saving one and dooming the other to an eternity of torture at the hands of Nerun's Dagon. Wait, would you make the decision? I think that you should make the decision. God damn it! I'm about, I'm about to persuade you to do both. <laughs> I mean, at least you can leave and go someplace. You know what? Yeah, it, we're gonna persuade. <laughs> I, I, you're right. Ordinator Nalera and Grandmother Savisa would never leave the helpless to suffer. I can do this. Let's free them quickly. Say more. They are heroes in Mournhold. They protected the innocent, stood up for those who couldn't do it themselves. Fought a gigantic four armed prince of destruction, sacrificed their lives for others. I can't live up to them. We just can't live up to them. Grandmother Sovisa died protecting me. Ordinator Nelera fought Mayrun's Dagon himself to keep me safe. The tribunal, yourself included, sent me here to save their spirits. But I am nothing like Sovisa and Nelera. Hmm. But you're still going to save them. I... I am, aren't I? Are you saying that maybe it won't be that bad? I guess... I have done a lot of things that I never thought I'd be able to do. Travel through the Deadlands, go on a quest with a living god. I can handle a little more time here. Yep. Oh, look! And you just killed a Mancor, too. Go you. duty by me as I did mine by Your work you. is done here let's leave before something horrible happens I'll meet you outside mm-hmm all right have fun Playing stone out of the way. Mm, nope. Here we go. Let's 
Sky Shard collected. And yes, this is Bandit CGI. Sorry for that. Also, Sam Marcus, thanks for the follow. We're uh, currently doing quests here, so I do have alerts turned off. I do appreciate it, though. After Mehrun's Dagon cut them both down outside the temple and then trapped them in the sever, unable to move on, it, it was too long. Thank the three, and you, especially you, magician. So both the ordinator and the priest are free. As far as I can tell, the mother stones worked. They worked, the spirits are free, and we're alive. I know that last bit was mostly your doing. Here, I can't say when I'll make it to Mournhold. This is all I can give to the tribunal now. All right, so Penny. Now you just have to find a way off this plane with its lightning strikes, monsters, and murderous bloodthirsty Daedra. No, be positive. You saved two spirits from the heart of the Deadlands. You're a hero. What are you gonna do now? I'll make my way back to Mournhold. I'll only tell everyone as much as you want me to, of course. So the seal. I'm honestly still a little scared about how things turned out here, but I know I can push through that thanks to you. How are you back? I don't know yet. I saw other mortals when I was in Wretched Spire, so there has to be other ways into this realm. I suppose I'll have to ask someone who's made the journey or find my own way back to Tamriel. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Well, you seem very hopeful. It's either that or get so scared that I can't move forward again. I just have to focus on making it back to Mournhold and stop being the swit that I am. <laughs> so you're definitely going back? Vec, yes. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Did you see that six-legged creature back there? That thing was terrifying. I am leaving this realm as soon as I can. All right. Have fun.